All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create local notifications in Objective-C. So I'm going to name my project such and make sure it's in Objective-C, single view, and hit Create. Okay, I'm going to go to my storyboard and let me make this so it all fits in the view. Perfect. And I'm going to turn off the side panel. You don't have to do this, but I, I like to get rid of the auto layout stuff. And we're going to put a label on here that will display a message for us. Message. And I'm going to put a button. And I'm going to make an action and an outlet in my view controller H. I'll hold down the control key and drag across here. Make an action. We'll call this start. And you know what? I'm going to get another button and call it stop. Start. Just double clicking in them to give them a name. And we'll call this one action stop. All right, so we have start, stop, and we'll call this message pretty easy identifiable names there. I'm going to go into the M. I'm just going to synthesize my outlet. And all right, so let's get to showing you some code. So the first thing you want to do is go into your uh, app delegate and add this method that lets the um, lets Xcode know that you're going to be using some notifications and register user notifications. This, when you load this app, this should ask you to have that little pop-up that you're probably used to seeing. This app wants to send you notifications, and then the user has to agree or not. If they disagree, then all this coding is uh, kind of goes to waste. But um, you know, let's go on to the next part. So um, you need to add. Well, this this is not necessary. This is kind of like a little added feature that I'm going to put in for you, um, where we're going to keep track with this NS user default as to whether the um, notification is active or not, okay? And I'll show you what that means as we go on here. All right, so the next thing is um, we're going to add this following bit of code to the um, view did load, and this is going to initialize the uh, notification variables that we're going to use. Okay, it sets that into play, and we also initialize our NS user default variable that's called defaults, okay? And um, so this bit of code is going to do, you put wherever you want to have your NS user, I'm sorry, your um, local notifications um, activated. I'm going to put this in this start IB action that I created, right? So I'm going to paste this down here. And which I'm not liking. Oh, doesn't like those quotes for some reason. I had made this in Word, I guess, originally. It just didn't like that. That should get rid of all errors. Now, let's just go over real quick what's going on in here. So when you hit the Start button, we're going to change our NS user default variable to say, hey, notification is active. Um, it's a type Boolean, so we're going to say yes for that. And then this just kind of synchronizes your NS user defaults. Um, I created a time interval here. Uh, I really just have this so you can see that you could do this. Um, this is in seconds. So 60 times 60 times 12 is 12 hours from now. And you could put that um, right in here for when you want your first NS, your first local notification to start. I'm going to change that to zero so that I can actually demonstrate this to you. So it'll start right away. Uh, and then the rest of these are kind of self-explanatory. This is the message that you'll see in the notification. And I'll show you that in a second. 
and um, you can do your default time zone. And this repeat interval is pretty important. Um, this, If I left this as is, it would go off once a day, starting from the 24 hours after the first time started. I'm going to... Do, I'm going to change it to once every minute, so um, NS calendar unit minute. You can get NS calendar units for like minutes, hours, days, weeks, that whole thing. Um, you can just look up the, the class if you uh, hold down the uh, command key and click on it. You can get more information about that. Um, this, uh, yeah, the default sound when it uh, pops up. And then uh, this just makes sure that it's shared in the application. Uh, so that's for notifying. That's again, you can mess around with those variables to make the time uh, whatever you want it to be. But uh, I'm going to leave that as is. And then I'm going to set this to turn off the notification. So I'm going to put this in the stop. And I have this. Comment it out. Actually, I commented it out both of them, uh, just in case uh, you were doing this and your outlet wasn't named the same. So this uh, is just going to change that message outlet to say notification started. This will say notification stopped. Changing our NS user defaults to um, no now that we've stopped this, and this will cancel all local notifications. So if you have more than one notification going, which you can, this will cancel all of them. Um, let's see. And then this is this is optional. Um, this method, uh, the view will appear, is when you come back to the home screen from somewhere else, this is going to let you know what the status is for your notification, whether it's um, started or stopped at this point. Okay. All right. And so actually I could have an else here. Right now it says... If notification active is true, then we're going to display notification is active. I could have an else that says not active. All right, so let, let's give this a try. Um, this should be ready to go. I'm going to run this. And okay, that's the message I was talking about. It's saying, would you like to this um, to send you notifications? I'm going to press OK. Then I'm going to hit Start. And so basically, one minute from now, it says notification started. One minute from now, we should get a notification. Um, and if I, notification will pop up here like a text message would. Um, if I put on the lock, it'll appear right here. Um, again, like, a, like any other notification would. There you go. Um, that's the name of the app. And then the message that I actually uh, put in there for it to say. And then so if I open this, it takes me right to that app, which is pretty cool. So it opens it to your home screen. All right. I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll probably be doing a follow-up of this within the uh, Swift language as well. Thank you.